do well. <laughs> and this is the start to everything, I guess. Yes, hello yeah. to Tungren Plays with me, Y Boy, and the ever so fabulous Nero. I'm fabulous. Yes, you're, you're fabulous. So fabulous. Like that owl? Yes, like that owl. And we look at her eyelashes and that dress on her. It's beautiful. It's adorable. All right, this is the Night of the Rabbit. It's a, I want to say it's didelic. Yeah. Um, we're just gonna give this a shot, see how it feels and stuff. You know, we broke, uh, was it three K, right, on our on our main channel? Yeah, yeah, we yeah we broke then, and we just sort of decided we're just like, you know, we're just been doing the rut of just you know like just commission work, reviews, and that sort of thing. So we decided, you know, try video games because we're both video gamers. We we played a lot of video games in our time. So why not just get back in, into it? In my day, the Dreamcast was considered a piece of crap. Yeah, because it I'm... still kind of is. Yeah, because I'm like in mid twenties, and that's like having a foot in the grave, right? Do you have a successful YouTube channel by opening up children's toys? No. Then yes, you have a foot in the grave. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's start. Night of the Rabbit. Let's go. New game. New game. Oi! 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 Yeah, we're doing it. Yeah. I know you played this like a while ago. And they did did you like it when you, when you first so started up? Oh, it there. My apprentice's finest hour. Yeah. Well the music is already like very beautiful. It's very atmospheric. Yeah. If only I had been there. I could have prevented it. Ominous. See, and this goes to show you in terms of like graphics, even something like basically still images with just a even a, a micro bit of animation. Yeah, it can really work. Oh, yeah, guess, guess where's the bunny? Guy got an odd figure. Yeah. Okay, so it's just point and click, it's moving around. Oh, yes. wait, wait, wait a minute. Boop. <laughs> okay, odd figure. Hey. Oh, who <laughs> are you? Can you not speak? Uh -huh. I'm a bunny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that mean you don't know? I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. I just started this. Are you lost? Yes. No. Don't admit oh, your weaknesses. So you're looking for the beginning of your story. Yeah. Yeah, I want to know the beginning. If we can find you a beginning, you'll know where to go from there. Oh. <laughs> you have no idea how lucky you were to cross my path. I know a lot about stories. I hope you aren't just here to steal one of mine. Okay, yeah, yeah. You aren't, are you? No. All right. To find your beginning, we must look for something that feels like once upon a time. Follow me. Oh, okay then. <laughs> I use my teleportation to get all of like five feet away. Man, that's that's real impressive. I'm just a bunny with my arms behind my back, and I I even find that impressive. There you are. It's, yeah. Now I just... we just have to find your beginning. Even if you lose yourself, beginnings can be found anywhere, and only away? those who start can find their way. And you will recognize it. Yeah. A beginning smells like the air in spring and the hope for more. A beginning is... I think you already know. A Endings, on the other hand. Well, we can worry about those later. Do you understand? No. Guys, you make us repeat everything now. Weren't you listening? Oh well. I have a feeling you will understand much sooner than you think. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh no, a sassy lizard. <laughs> Did you hear something? Yeah, it was a sassy lizard that last, obviously. The fog must be playing tricks on my imagination. <sighs> it's 
gotten cold, don't you think? Follow me. Why do you keep asking me? Like, you're expecting an answer. Oh, okay. Walking on down the road. Yeah. Oh, there's a vision in that. There's oh. your beginning. It's really lucky you stumbled upon me. I don't think you would have found your beginning all by yourself. I thought it was going the left of where I found you. <laughs> you look familiar somehow. I'm sure we shall meet again, unless the fog thickens more. I can't see the hand in front of my face already. Okay. I guess I'm walking. Strange fellow. He reminds me of a character in one of my old tales. He also looks like a bunny. I hope he finds his <laughs> but way. But that's the least Not important thing about it. Not even I could him. say where he'll end up if he doesn't, or when. Even. So, let's help his beginning along a bit. Ah, this beginning rhymes. I must note it down right away. What a strange man. Yeah, a very strange man. <laughs> that voice seemed wildly inappropriate for that body, too, because you think he would have sounded more. Yeah, I was right, Didelic. Yes, I'm a lady. In a I was more weirded out by his away. pauses. Like I'm a sound protagonist that like just step pausing so far. To dream of the dream that he always had. Go to sleep, Billy. Each night to his mother Ragged Jerry did form. say, <laughs> Mama oh, loves I want to you. be a magician one day. Oh, your Each dreams are stupid, son. As mothers do. One day, sweet son, your dream will come true. And as mothers do, she whispers, Soon Jeremiah Hazelnut would sleep tight. <laughs> and soon, very soon, as dreams sometimes. What kind of pretentious writer would write a story completely in rhyme? By the way, be sure to check out our book Tim Tim if it ever gets published. Oh my god. You freaking rabbit, stop looking at that kid, creep. Hey, what Mike a good throw, don't you think? No, I wasn't thinking that. I was just like thinking, just, just fogging up the glass. What, 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 like, like, like Sonic, uh, like the original Sonic design before they redesigned it for the movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Magic of the Rap. It's written and directed by Matt Kemp. Yeah. Key. Yeah, it's starting out like one of those like old 1970s cartoons. Jerry. 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 Uh, yeah? What do you want, um? Shut Wake up, up sleepyhead! Oh, oh no! I, I, am I going to be late for school? Come outside and enjoy the sunshine! You don't want to sleep away your whole summer vacation, do you? Summer vacation? Jerry, school starts the day after tomorrow. You don't have to worry about your things until then. Oh. I still have two days before school starts. Yeah, I've still two yeah. whole days of adventure left. You just stayed at that. Ha ha! Ha ha! Like a crazy person. Like we do every day with our morning calisthenics. It's our program. Start the day fit and cheerful. Ho oh, ho! What on earth is this? It's Usually hilarious. it's the top 40 playing all day long. The crows must have overdone it yesterday. There's not a single one in the sky this morning. What a beautiful day. Damn filthy crows. But don't just sit there and rust, or you'll just make it easier for them tomorrow. Okay, follow my lead. If you don't want to listen to our program, then go ahead and start your day any way you like. Imagine a small X floating in the air. You can click on it to drop out at any time. <laughs> that's, wow, that's oddly when specific. It like that, I can practically see the X floating in front of me. But why would you want to drop out? I see an X right oh, you there. think you already know everything? Yeah. Smart at it. Touch the radio. Imagine a mouse pointer. Uh, I'm not gonna Move touch it you. to the radio and then click with the left mouse button. No, Mom! Gonna... Mom, no. the radio is giving me mixed signals. It, it wanted me to touch it. It's like, touch me, touch me, you dirty boy. 
I, I think it's weird that they don't just put closed captions on the bottom of the screen rather than like across like the characters. Yeah. Yeah, they used to do that in all of the sort of the old, old adventure point and click games. Oh, the cute little detail they just put a little hand or mouth next inside the little leaf leaf that's uses the pointer. It's cute. Okay, I'm touching you. <laughs> yeah, that's how you Good work job. a radio. Touch well the, done. Touch the speaker. <laughs> Child's play. <laughs> you can tackle anything just like that. Looking, talking, using, running around. Just click on it. One click. Everything is just one click. In universe, yeah, yeah. like, what is this? Is this a sales presentation or what? <laughs> now, let's try it again. Talk. This time, talk to the radio. Yes, that thing where the voice comes from. Am, talk to the radio? Am I crazy? Once again, just click on it. Oh my god, okay, fine. Okay. Hello, I'd like to say hi to my mother. I'm talking to a radio. I'm not talking to a radio. I'm not talking to a radio. Well, that would be a one-sided conversation. You did very well. Thanks, but how? One click. Everything is just one click. Did you notice how your muscles and sinews stretch when you click on something? Doesn't that feel good? <laughs> He's right. I ought to do morning calisthenics more often. You're probably thinking, I ought to do morning calisthenics more often. Man, he's good. Oh, and you know man. It's a witch. You can. It's our <laughs> program. The witch. Start the day fit and cheerful. Okay. And on we go. Some things can be looked at and picked up. That's good for the back. So keep looking at Jerry things panics, and picks picking up them up. No, find mother. yourself an object. <laughs> man, a witch How about me. that basket on the windowsill? You already found something to pick up. Go ahead then. Okay. Wait, can I move around? No. Nope. I... Oh wait, no, I can't. No, can I? Don't you just move the character with the arrows? No, no, you click around. And I guess you... Okay. Okay, yeah. Right. Well, okay. no, get mm -hmm. the basket. How about oh, yeah. that bo Okay, yep, click on the basket. That's the way. That's good for the Put it in my bag. You are now carrying the basket. You open the inventory by scrolling down with the mouse wheel. Or okay. by pressing the I key. Oh. Man, oh man. Now, let's... Try it again. Man, oh man! Peek in your inventory. Okay. I have a, in universe, what's the logic of like this radio telling you these days? It's like the mouse key. What the hell does that mean? What's a computer? Your inventory. You can fun. carry a lot more around in here than you'd think. And carrying objects around is healthy. You can also yeah. look at them. To do that, click on them with the right mouse button. Ooh, right. Do it, wire boy. Oh, nice basket. Hey. Looking with the right mouse button works really well. Yeah, Looking does. with the right mouse button oh. works really well, doesn't it? Absolutely. And oh. now we'll try the left so mouse good. button. So good. Use the so, left mouse so button to take good. items oh. out of your inventory. Left click on the bar. It's been a long time I played just a real adventure game like this. Yeah. Now you have closed your inventory. Hope didn't you didn't do pull anything. a muscle. Now let's try it again. Have a peek in your inventory. What? Oh, okay. And Look, now I... we'll try the left mouse button. <laughs> Use the left mouse button to take items out of your inventory. Well, I guess I left just... click on the basket. I guess I did something wrong by closing it. Okay, I'll left click on it. Oops, <laughs> the handle fell off. That isn't supposed to happen. Normally, you would just pick the basket back up. But don't panic. Remember, there are no problems, only challenges. Oh, You're okay. bound to repair that basket in no time, for sure. Yeah. Use the left mouse button to select items in your inventory. That will allow you to use them with other items in your inventory. Mm -hmm. Use yeah. one of the items with another one. That will get your circulation going. Okay, it's, it's sort of nice that they're just playing this up for like comedy's sake, but it's just going through all the steps really slowly. There, we there. Go. that wasn't so hard. Well, yeah, yeah, but it's a tutorial. Yeah. And do you notice how your pulse is calming? <laughs> Feels good to repair something you broke, doesn't it? I always feel like the yeah, choices in these sort of things where you can now skip for the tutorial. Next step. You can also use items with your environment. Oh. Left click on the basket and then carry it out of your inventory by moving it past the inventory's edge. Right. Or by pressing the I key. Or scroll up with the mouse wheel. That's not well, Why do you need three to do ways to do this? Hope you didn't pull a muscle. <laughs> Just open your inventory would... again. Okay, left that's click on the basket, stupid. and then carry it out of your inventory. Literally, if you just let your hand just sort of glisten edge, by, you can just close the inventory key. screen automatically. So you gotta keep it within this. Okay, click. click. Very good. Try showing the basket to a beloved family member. Hmm. 
Who should I show the basket the one to? That's There's a beloved the family member. The one you have in front of the house. Man, he's good. Wow. Yeah. It's as if he's talking to me. Use your basket with your mother it's by like moving the really basket to her and tutorial. clicking the left mouse button. Ah, ah, I watch you while you sleep, Jerry. I enjoy that, Mr. Radio. I enjoy that a lot. Your feet look delicious. Mm, I know they do. I'll cover them in peanut butter for you to watch them next, tomorrow night. <laughs> okay, Mom. Hit, hit oh, the Jerry, as you've got the basket. Okay. Yeah. And I didn't break it at all. Your what? That's fantastic. Could you go and pick some blackberries for me? For? For blackberry pie. Of course. <laughs> oh boy. Pick blackberries. Check. Congratulations. You've completed your fitness program for today. And remember, a simple leg cramp could cost you your life when you're fleeing from a wild crow. Huh? Well, I hope I don't get a leg cramp stay while running away stay from cheerful. crow. Mousewood Radio oh, now continues with the Leaf Crow Report. Mousewood Radio? Huh. Never heard of that. It must have something to do with sunspots. <laughs> right? Okay. So I guess... How does this kid have any grasp of concept of what sunspots are? That's just your saving icon, I think. Oh, yeah, that's your the, journal. The journal. A tasty slice of pie awaits Jerry, but for that, his mother needs a basket filled with blackberries. Only two, Only days, two days of summer vacation left. Adventure ho! Jerry's greatest dream is becoming a magician. While he's asleep, glowing red eyes watch him in the night. Well, that's just something uncomfortable. Oh. A strange glade, a legendary tree, a figure dressed in black, and a traveling case. How mysterious! A stranger can guide you through the mist. Okay, let's go back. Oh, oh. oh, oh okay then. Okay, here I am. Welcome to our secret stash. This pot. Get some Mary Jane. Jerry? Hmm. No marauding kids in sight, and also no sign of the gremlin wolf. <laughs> <laughs> As usual, the coast is clear. My That's a gremlin stash. wolf. Secret stash, Jerry. Oh, I shudder to think what havoc my magical tools could cause in the hands of a lesser magician. The whole world would be in peril. Ah, Jerry's pretentious. <laughs> okay. What do we have here? Matches, firecrackers, and my gold coin. Perfect. Let the adventure begin. Yeah. Let's set some fires. Oh. Ah, better not leave it open. You never know. I don't want the gremlin wolf to pick up my scent. Yeah, it's freaking terrible if the gremlin wolf found out. Okay, so they've got a few things. So, whether. Just gotta find where the blackberries are. Isn't that them on the side right there? The side? Uh, no, those are strawberries. Those are sweet smelling strawberries. Ripe red currants. Yeah, no, they're not here. Well, can you leave this area? Like, yeah. the arrow just said, like, we can yeah. go into the woods. Yeah, we're going to go here. And, and because this is a terrible mother, she'll let us wander off into the woods. No doubt to be eaten by clowns. Oh my god, Dr. Pepper. Yeah, call the king. Who dumps that trash here in the woods? Carrots. Oh, unbelievable. I'm going to put that in my, in my bag. Boy, delicious can of Dr. Pepco. Wow. Well, let me just walk back, and now we're in cottage country. And then you just go. go to I the mean, if he's on a high here. enough, if, if he's on a high enough hill, I suppose. And you, or you just go to the edge of town. Oh, here there they are. There we go. Ah, there are blackberries back there, but this brambly bush is in the way. Can right. you burn it with fire? Let us see. Ooh, decayed firecracker. Can you combine That's the firecracker? That's not worth my last match. <laughs> oh. That's not worth my last combine... match. Oh, there you go. Can you combine the firecracker maybe with like the can of soda, make like some kind of pipe bomb? I don't believe. That's that. not worth my last match. Dang it! Can can you give it a try? Okay, you try it. So go through the hole, hole, and basket. Okay, I guess I gotta look around. Can you combine? Uh, yeah. I have the feeling the order isn't quite right. What about the other way? Uh, I have. Okay, so. Yeah, it's just one of those games where you just gotta keep mixing items together until you get the right combination. 
Well, I is guess. there anything else we could find then? Maybe we could go deep into the woods. Yeah, let's go over here. It's so quiet here. Like the town is miles away. No, it's right over there. You can see it. <laughs> It's like a smile's voice right there. Frog rock? A heavy rock. Ugh. What am I supposed to do with such a heavy rock? I can't carry it very far. You use it to crush the gremlin. I'll put the heavy rock back. That's really hard on the arms. Oh, you're weakly. Sweet little boy with no butt. I always used to sit on this rock huh, because it felt like I was riding a great big animal. I'm too old for that now. You got a weird face on it, so I, I can see why you think that. The it's old the frog rock. Old path, tree, circle, mushrooms, wall. Hmm. One of my books says that mushrooms only grow in circles in special places, near entrances to the realm of the fairies. But it also says that fairies can be really. Really unfriendly. Hmm. I can vouch for that. <laughs> they be real dicks. Fairies are horrible. I heard there used to be an old trail here. Maybe that's why we call this a path tree. Anyway, this is now a dead end. Okay, don't feel like there's too much here. Oh, there's a chalk quarry. That's you can draw really chalk. well with these chalk stones. I think I'll take one. You never know. That looked like he put it where his crotch was. That's where you put stuff in your bag, right through your crotch, and it just goes up his chest, around his butt, and then into his bag. That's hard. Is that your hard science? I That's biology. The oh, the water actually ooh, looks pretty clear, but sometimes oh, yeah, it smells it just awful. And some of the stuff you can barely see at first glance. I'll take that. Mine now. Okay, so let's see. A stick, chalk, okay. You light the stick on fire and stab at like the bramble bush. Yeah. I would like to see if we can do that. Oh, we can try and kill mom. <laughs> that prickly bush thinks it can keep me away from the juicy blackberries back there. Someone should teach it a lesson. I'm good. Ow! Uh -huh. <laughs> Mother. You win this round, Brown Bush. Mother, Mother Nature's gotten really arrogant as of late. I thought it was time I took her down a peg. It's what, it's what Mother Nature deserves. Thinking stick, like match and stick. Yeah. All right, I have no other choice. I'm gonna whoop you. Ah. Beat no bush, bush can stand between me and Mum's blackberry pie. A fatal mistake. Yes, Mother Nature's bush and my hard stick. <laughs> they look like they can't wait to be picked. They go into the Just basket. Gotta beat the bush. Okay. <laughs> Put down the crap. More dangerous. They also look like they need picking. Spider web. No, spider webs. I need the power of a stick. Good idea. Screw right. you, spider! You don't get a home! <laughs> I used to do that no, as a kid all the time, just to stick to just get spider webs out of my way. They're screaming to be picked. Yeah, it's horrible. You're breaking your home to your spiders. You know, you're gonna be the Street home. You're gonna be the Hurricane Katrina to Charlotte. Eh, she can make it again in one night. That's what you did for Wilbur. That's just, just a good spell of that book, too. Mom says there used yeah. to be important trails to faraway places here long before there were cars. Oh. Today, you can only get from here to our house and to the woods where the old path tree is. Is your house the only thing out here? <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's like one of those horror movies with rednecks. Yeah. Mother, mother, I brought you the blackberries by beating a bush. Now I've got a whole basket full of raspberries. Blackberries. Mmm, this should earn me the first and biggest piece of blackberry pie. I would better. Mom, this dialogue yes. is so cheesy. I got the blackberries for mm. you. Thanks, sweetheart. In that case, you can have the first piece of the blackberry pie. Oh my god, I was Yay. just talking about that. I like the fact that she's like, because you did this, now you're allowed to have the first piece. It's like, what was the second? alternative I was not allowed to have the first piece? Only the first piece. And <laughs> the biggest, Jerry. 
And so the hazelnut family narrowly escapes a diplomatic incident. I would have to have killed you, mother, Ma if you did not give <laughs> I was going to say, oh. like, mother knew her place. Oh. It's like Harry Potter. <laughs> that blowing oh, would sound like someone just blowing in the microphone. <laughs> Something's in there. Oh. oh, holy cow. Am I being summoned to Hogwarts? Oh, okay. Be brave. As long it's as magic, but like Harry Potter. Oh. Who's Harry Potter? Of. Hi, I'm Harry Potter. <laughs> well, what do you do? Very I make careful. pots. That's not magic. That's not magic. It is to me. Uh, that's a great video of Tom's Oh. What was that? It went out the letter just flew into my pocket. <laughs> oh, I thought it flew back well, in Well, my crotch region. Yeah. Well, let's see. Okay, look at it. A fine triangular letter? And there's no return address. Let's see what's inside. There's a weird symbol in the poem underneath it. How he made a carrot flame. After drawing on rock, a symbol all in white. Grinding white to powder makes it right. Then add black in turn. The kind you should be loath to burn. Black and white as they combine. The inside of your vessel line. Then three more things. Tree skin, tree fruit. And lastly but not least, a root. At the crossroads, draw a circle with the powder mix obtained. Put the vessel in the center of the powder ring, thus gained. Set the circle bang on fire. The carrot flame leaps higher and higher, and I will swallow it in haste to enjoy the lovely taste. Okay. That seems self-explanatory, self right, Nero? Uh, more or less. Get carry it? I'll take one for later. That's supposed to be good for your eyes, and an adventurer like me needs to see everything. Just calm down, Jerry, calm hmm. down. Strange. Footprints. A large animal must have run through the carrots under my window last night. I'd say it was Isn't a mysterious, a funny image long to see, extinct like, mammal. The, the, the rabbit, like, crouching, and he's like six feet tall, and he's eating carrots here through your backyard. My theories have sounded a <laughs> lot more convincing. So much yeah, expertise for rabbit. just 50 cents a month. Okay, so I guess it's strawberries too? Yep. Oh, oh I guess Jerry's here. Mmm, sweet and juicy. Jerry! I'm okay, Mum. I won't eat them all. What? Jerry, I just want to remind you to pack your things for school tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I'll at least in that two days. Yeah. School. Huh. School sucks. I'm out of here. Can you get the kite? Oh ho, oh. oh, oh, they look delicious. I'm stop eating everything, Jerry. I'm trying to collect some stuff. Blech. They're sour. Ugh. Why do red currants always trick me like that? Uh, it must be the bright red color. I just love bright colors. I'm a simpleton that way. Mm. Yeah, I can't go inside. <laughs> Well, I think we should be wrapping up anyways with this episode. Yeah, we yeah, we got a very good start on it. We now know the adventure of Jerry and what, what he has to do next. He has to, you know, draw a demonic circle and all that, and maybe probably summon the demon lord. Yeah, yo! Yeah, yo, yeah, yo! Oh, oh. What does that, what does the One Piece intro have to do with summoning a demon? No, oh, no adventure, man. <laughs> well, anyway, if you you enjoyed this start of our Tinkerin play, just let just let us know what you're thinking, and we'll just keep on going. Yep. Yeah, you know, like like button, subscribe, all that good stuff you hear every YouTuber regurgitate. <laughs> Until next time, should I tune in? Tune green. Cha cha.